In this video, we're going to take a look at graphing y is greater than some number or y is less than some number and x is less than some number or x is greater than some number. What's going to be different about these graphs from the other graphs we have seen is our lines are either going to go straight left and right, they're going to be horizontal, or they're going to go straight up and down, they're going to be vertical because we will only have one variable in the problems we're going to see, either just y or just x. So let's take a look at our first type of graph. If the equation is y is greater than some number or y is less than some number, you're going to draw a horizontal line through the y-axis at that number and then shade. So, in this example, we've got a horizontal line drawn through the y-axis at negative 2. Notice it says graph y is greater than or equal to negative 2. So, we graphed a horizontal line through negative 2 on the y-axis. Notice it also says y is greater than or equal to. Since it says y is greater than, that means we shaded above the line. That's the green shading on the graph. And since it's or equal to, we know that our line is solid. Let's take a look at our second type of graph for the day. If the equation is x is less than some number or x is greater than some number, you're going to draw a vertical line through the x-axis at that number and then shade. So notice, in these equations we have just x. We're going to have x and some number. And in our example we have x is less than 4. Since there is just x, you're going to draw a vertical line through the x-axis at the number that you're given. The number we're given is 4, so we draw a vertical line through the graph on the x-axis at 4. Now this one's a little bit different from the ones we've seen in the past. Notice it says x is less than 4. That means we need to shade all of the numbers that make x less than 4. Or on the x-axis we shade all the numbers that are less than 4 and that would be to the left of 4. 3, 2, 1, negative 1, and so on. So all of the ordered pairs, the entire graph to the left of 4 gets shaded. Since it is just plain old less than and not less than or equal to, we use a dotted or dashed line. So here's one for you to try. Go ahead and pause the video, give it a try, and press play when you're ready to see the answer. Notice, the graph that we're given has a vertical line through the x-axis at 2. Now that's important. Since it's hitting the x-axis at 2, we know it has to either be x is greater than or x is less than some number. So we can immediately cross out answer choice A and answer choice B. Again, because it's a vertical line through the x-axis at that number. So now we have x is greater than 2 or x is greater than or equal to 2. Well since it's shaded to the right towards numbers that are bigger than 2 we know it's going to be greater than but is it greater than or greater than or equal to? Well since the line is solid we know it's going to be greater than or equal to. Here's another one for you to try on your own. Please work it out, pressing pause and plus play when you're ready to see the answer. For this one, we notice that the line is going through the y-axis at 2. Since it's hitting the y-axis and it is a horizontal line, we know that it has to be y is less than or y is greater than. So we can immediately cross out answer choice C and answer choice D. 
Since it is a dashed line, we know that it is, has to be y is less than the number. In this case, y is less than two, which does match because we're shading all of the numbers below two on the y-axis, and we're shading all those values that are less than two. And we've got one final one for today. Which of the following graphs could match y is greater than three? Go ahead and pause the video, think about it, and answer. All right, now there's only one graph that matches y is greater than three, and that's this graph right here. You might be wondering, well, why did neither of the other two graphs work? Well, both of the other graphs have a slope other than zero. They follow the format y is greater than mx plus b. In other words, they have some rise over run. The first graph, the graph that actually matches y is greater than three, is a horizontal line. It has zero slope. So keep that in mind when you're graphing y and some number has no other x value, no other variable, then you need to know that you're going to use a horizontal line.